Hello, I'm Brian. And I'm Rhonda. And I am Malay. And we, we are, are the, the Swans. Swans. Oh, my husband Brian, he's, he's an awesome guy. We actually met 12 years ago. We were surfing in the water and this guy comes paddling up to me and is kind of giving me the line. I was attracted to him. Totally attracted. Yeah, he said, are you from around here? <laughs> like, uh, yes, I surf here every single morning. Not necessarily love at first sight. Yeah, you know what, <laughs> she was the one that dug me. Yeah, I learned a, a lesson very early that if I was gonna get what I wanted, I had to work for it. I wanted to prove to myself that I could do anything. I always believed what my mom told me. You can do it. Our life back then, it wasn't so bad. It wasn't that we didn't have good jobs, but we were emotionally detached. Every day, we did the exact same thing. We crossed paths in the hallway, going to breakfast, got in our cars, saw each other at night, had a little dinner, and we both went back in separate offices at home and worked until 9, 10 at night, go to bed, do the exact same thing over again. I, I didn't have as much freedom. You know, I was listening to a boss who, you know, I had meetings every morning at 7.30 in the morning. I was driving to and from traffic every day. It was, I, I wanted to have my own control. My passion, my addiction is, is surfing. It's something that's in your, in your system, it's, it's in your blood that when I wake up, I want to surf. I could not get my head around how am I going to go travel the world and surf the world's best ways. So every morning, I would sit in the car, driving, year after year, day after day, looking at everyone traveling down the road, and I'm like, something's got to give. I'm not even living a life anymore. The moment that I knew that I had to make a change was when I was going in traffic an hour to a meeting. Three women had new babies, three, four months old. They just came out of maternity leave. And our manager said, you have to be at this meeting every Wednesday at seven o'clock. And these girls said, I, you know, I've got these, my, my new child, I'm gonna be a baby, I can't be there really till eight. And she said, no, you're gonna take your child at 7 a.m. to daycare, and you're not gonna pick them up until 6 p.m. I sat there listening to that. And at that moment, I knew that I was not going to do that to a family or to a child. And I knew at that moment, I had to do something different. My mom was there for me for all my life. She was always there for me, every, every moment of my life. And to not be able to experience or share the first walk, the first word of a child, to me, there's no reason to have a family if you can't be with your children. It was almost like a switch. I drove home, an hour in traffic again. It was a little bit different. I was kind of driving home with like, I'm gonna do something. And I remember her looking at me and saying, I wanna have a family. I'm like, yeah, that's why we bought a five bedroom house. And here's the kicker. She looked at me and she goes, I'm not putting my kids through daycare. I'm like, are you, are you joking? I said, I don't, I don't care if I'm my boss's boss's boss. I'm not gonna earn enough money to afford the mortgage on our house. And she told me, you better go find another job. <laughs> I said, you better find something you can do work from home. I said, I'll find something. I'm gonna find a way to replace my income, to be home, and to start a family, and to be able to raise my child. She told me that. I was like, this is so un-American. Our kids are supposed to be in daycare. That's what you do. I didn't want to open up a store or open my own business because I knew that was going to be way too much more time and way too expensive. So I sat on my computer, went into my office, flicked the computer on, and searched work at home mom. And all of these options popped up. And I don't know what it led to me, but one led to me to this one website. And I clicked on it and I just, I opened it. I asked her about the business and she kept on telling me to go to this call. Go to this call. I want you to hear it just like me. I dialed into this call. I listened to maybe 10 minutes. I hung up and said, what the heck is this crap? Little did I know that a couple years later I was gonna be actually hosting that same call. But what I realized is that there's other people having results. And I was looking at these people and I'm looking at this person going, this person's making this kind of money? I wanna see their bank statements these people were having results. And I looked at each one of them and went, these are just average Joes. They just want to have a different lifestyle. I'm like, man, I'm doing something I don't even like. I just went to it. 
because my belief was there. I was excited. I had amazing, amazing business that I believed in and that I could back. Well, this is the fun part. The first month that we really made money, because that's what kind of what I was there for, right? Because <laughs> you gotta make some money too. First month, I made the first two sales, a couple thousand. The next month, two, three more sales, two, three more thousand. At the very end of that month, $37,000 a month. And I walked into my Brian's office, and they said, you are not gonna believe this. <laughs> we are just closing this month, we just made 37,000 bucks. <laughs> And that moment, it gives me goosebumps <laughs> because it was so, I was like, yeah, this thing works. We just started to soar. And it really, I mean, it was like just month after month, multiple five figure months. Everything we touched was gold. We could not do anything wrong. Well, in 07 was when we probably made the most money out of investments, out of our business, everything. And in 07 was the year that we lost everything that we had. All the retirement, all her savings, gone. What's the easiest thing to do? Go get a job, do something I hate, then I'm not living anymore. Well, we were part of one of the biggest frauds of real estate development in 07. Um, and he took everything. The developer took everything and ran. I remember the moment looking in my new little girl's eyes and going, I told you that I would never put you in daycare. That was my vow, to have this little girl and never put her in daycare. And I remember looking at Brian, and looking at my little girl and saying, what are we gonna do? How are we really gonna make this happen? We can't pay for anything anymore? Do we go move back with our families? Do we go get a, do we go get a job? What are we gonna do? It was like, you go from being on top of the world to being embarrassed to even talk to your friends because everyone knew that we lost everything. So what am I gonna do with this, this promise that I gave to my daughter? That was the most unbelievable moment to realize that you can have everything and lose it all so quickly. You know, Brian was amazing but supportive but he was scared. I saw the fear in his eyes because we gave, we gave all the, everything we had invested, every, all of our IRAs, nest eggs, every single thing we had was gone. Probably a bad decision that we made, but we believed in it. And my husband was, he's like, we can do this. We can do this. We know how to make money. We've got a great business. Brian came up to me and said, you know what? We've always wanted to travel around the world. We can do it. Let's just leave everything and go travel. This could be a solution of just, if we really want to leave our dreams, it may not be the way you expect it to, but you can still do it just in a really different way. We had a really simple business model that thank goodness, we didn't require a lot of overhead because if it did, we couldn't do it. And we just started to do what we knew how to do, and that was just be real people and share our business. Did I catch you at a good time for these five? So could we see that we'd be in Fiji right now and traveling for the last year and a half? Probably not. Boy, I think after going through what we did, we knew nothing could stop us at that point. The way it feels for me as a parent to know that every single day I have been with my little girl, I mean, every moment I haven't missed a crawl, I haven't missed a word, that to me has got to be the the biggest blessing of a family or, or of a mother. And she's experiencing things that most kids can only read about in a textbook. Sure. Our life now, it's a pinch of life. It is a life that I could never imagine having. If someone were told me five and a half years ago, when I came to you and said, I've got to find a way to work for myself, and they would have told me, you were going to be traveling around the world with my little girl, there's no way I would have believed it. You, I would say you'd be on drugs. Anytime I want to go out surfing and take a boat ride out, that is my day. It's part of the combined yeah. lifestyle. Because we weave our work, we weave our business, and we have a great life balance. Everything I need is in a laptop. The Fijians think that we're crazy. We're walking around with our laptops on our head. I don't even have a cell phone anymore. The system is important. It's like a franchise. Franchise has a high 
rate of success. You do things a certain way and you get the results. I like to call it Simon Says for Grown Ups. Anyone can really come in and be successful if they want to. If I didn't have a system I could immediate plug into, it would have been a lot more difficult. Yeah, we made 19,000 last week and it was our best week 42 grand in a week. 42 grand in a week? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's not shabby. <laughs> I could never, it was, no way I know that my corporate job would have ever paid me that, even in a bonus. We do the happy dance. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's awesome. It's awesome <laughs> to go in your bank account and not see red and to see 42 grand deposited into your account. That's profit. And I was surfing for three yeah. hours. <laughs> yeah, he was surfing that day. Each day. Yeah. And the more you surf, the more money we make. And the more I feel good, the more that we are connected. And the more that we're connected, we're connecting with others. I call it flow. I call it perfect flow. When you're in flow of life, and we're grooving, he's surfing, I'm swimming, playing with my daughter, working my business, it all works. You know, I've been fortunate enough to do many exciting things in my life, but nothing's as rewarding as seeing families like the Swans gain control of their lives by using the same systems that I use to not only achieve financial freedom, but that allows my family to live life on our terms. Think it was luck? Did it just happen? Are the swans the exception? No, not at all. There are literally thousands of people just like you who have discovered the secrets to gaining their personal and financial goals. You know, it's an extraordinary journey taken every day by people who made the decision to get more out of life. You see, you know, everyone has the same exact potential inside but it's only those who activate this potential, those who seek the knowledge and resources to unlock their inner power. These are the people who attain the rewards they desire, just as the swans have done. If you desire more for your family, if you'd like to reap the rewards that have given so many people like the swans a better future, then you're really faced with only two choices. You can do nothing and tomorrow your life will go on just as before. Or you can try to forget about this opportunity and ignore the thousands of people just like you who took control of their futures. Or you can choose to make a real difference in your own future and perhaps your family's destiny as well. All you need to do is place your information in the form you'll find on this page. There is absolutely no obligation to discover what our system has in store for you. Now, you'll be able to explore the step-by-step -step secrets that can bring you personal and financial freedom. Remember, true greatness is already within you. I want to help you unlock it. I'm Dave McKenzie, and I, and I really do hope you join me in this exciting journey to explore your full potential. You know, the choice is yours. Check us out. A better future is waiting.